siècle de savoir-faire est toujours aussi fraîche. Shut Moi aussi, ça. Shut up, Frenchie! C'est le savoir-faire. C'est le savoir-faire. Ah, what am I going to do with all this? It's 50 CL. E, Euro. You Euro. didn't do your, your intro. Center alert. I haven't started yet. Have you? Well, have you okay, I, have, I did record. We are so live. Wow. And we're back Damn. with Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews with Fuzz being Captain Obvious. Aye, aye! And we've got, well, uh, Heist Almighty sitting over here, and he brought this back from, was it, Mo um, Monica. Monaco? Yes. This is Cronenberg. Not Cronenberg Blanc, not Cronenberg 1664. This is just Cronenberg. The Cronenberg. What do you know about it, uh, Heist? It's from France. Really? This is a French beer! <laughs> it's a French beer! Shit! It's 4. also 4.2. 4.2% ABV, and that's all you really know about it. There's no special story behind Cronenberg, just that it's a lager beer from Europe. I, I drank it on a catamaran whilst sailing across the French Riviera, but, you know, la di da <laughs> Pim, pim, pim! Pass me your chalice, your highness. Put it in a Westie glass. <laughs> Him, 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 him. Should have started him off with Bellbird in that chalice there. Cheerio! <laughs> <coughs> Wrong uh, monarchy. Well, mm -hmm. otherwise we can cut your head off with a guillotine if you want to be uh, historically yeah. accurate. <laughs> that kind of looks like a guillotine. Well, I was just making a gesture. It's like... Cut. Oh, you won't pour me a glass. Do no. Do you have two arms? You can pour them yourself. No, so does Fuzz. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you can't fucking reach. pour his own beer. <laughs> can't, can't reach. Well, you can hand him the fucking can. It's my can. I got little two arms. <laughs> All right. Looking at that, that looks a lot like the piston head. It's very that clear. Like no, the clear. piston head was nicer than this. Yeah. I don't have a lot of head. Nope. No, you don't have any head at all. No. Nope. Nope. I don't get it here. <laughs> oh, you get it here. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Oh. Okay. All right. How does it smell, Fox? Mmm. Mm. Oh. It smells like apple juice. It smells like boiled vegetables. It does kind of, doesn't it's it? It's got that boiled green beans kind of smell to it. Yep, it's got that El Cheapo lager smell. It was it cheap? Probably. I don't know. It was pretty average. How many francs did that cost you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> je ne sais pas. <laughs> je ne sais pas. Or did you have to buy it again? Jelly dans le magasin, you... je fais comme ça. <laughs> <laughs> or did you have to buy it with euros? Uh, oui. <clears throat> oui. Same thing like euro. <laughs> I don't know. Not a lot going on here other than like, like sweet supermarché. <laughs> it's, uh, was that for Savoie Fair or Supermarché? Toujours. Toujours. Oh, French. Is it really French? Uh, probably not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Got that sweet boiled green bean down the hatch. Whatever <laughs> peas. There you go. Well, it's lager. Tastes about the same. Mmm, lager. Very metallic. Well, I think that was the can. I had I had a little taste of one in a bottle while I was there, and it was just slightly better than this. Yeah. Slightly. Eighth of a point. I'm getting that herbal. And it's four point. Four point two. Can. Four point two. It's not very sweet. It's least. very, it's, it's quite thin. Yeah. Not, not a lot of alcohol taste in it. No, not a lot of taste. Yeah. It, it, it's thin, watery, and tastes kind of like, ugh, metal. It didn't, no, it has very, very little taste of its own. I think I'm just tasting can. Very yeah. refreshing. Yeah, I will give it that. It's, it's, it goes down smooth and easy, and it's nice and, like, crisp. Mm. But it was, it was a it, decent remedy for seasickness. Yeah. Not that the seas were heavy, but. <laughs> it's like if you have to drink the local water. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> except <clears throat> I don't know if there's really a problem with the water over there in, in Monaco, but not so much. <clears throat> but um, it's definitely a good substitute in that department. Pretty sure you could drink that; it's refreshing enough. It's just not the tastiest thing to drink. Nah, but you know, for like, you know, if you were gonna go down and sit down in a restaurant, and your choices were like Budweiser or this, <laughs> this, <clears throat> this yeah. over Budweiser. Oh yeah, this over Budweiser. I give it two out of five. What do you say? Uh, two and a quarter. <laughs> two and a quarter. And you? Uh, 2.75. 2.75. The only one that passed it. The Lager Boy. Of course. It's lager. All right. It's lager. It's lager. I mean, it's not. I mean, it's not. <clears throat> wow, it's lager. It's, it's, it's lager. lager. It's, it's a drink. Lager. It's a beer. It's a beverage. Yeah, it's yeah. a very tasty beverage. To me, I would have a six pack of this, no problem. I would drink it again if I had to, but so I mean, you, it's not like I would go for it. So if you find yourself in a French beer market and have to drink a beer, if you, have you to could do worse. If you have to buy something that gets you drunk, 
even at 4.2%, it's not going to do it in a very big hurry. Not Try some of the wine. Not efficient. You know? <laughs> I, I, um, I'd buy this over any domestic North American beer. Nice. Or some Caribbean beers. Or many, or Caribbean, many Caribbean, Caribbean beers. beers. All right. It maybe doesn't beat German macro lager, so, but no. it's not wait, too wait, bad. What do they no. say? Y M M V. What? Your mileage may vary. Yeah, I guess All right, so. Whatever. No, that's a lot of mileage to go for that, though. Mm. All right. Thanks for watching Maxwell Star's Beer Reviews with the Fuzz and the Heist Almighty. Talk to you folks later. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.